Hello friends, welcome to TechS channel. This is for the medical technologist by Ear Tech. In this video, we will discuss about using our own internal QC material for quality control. We ran the QC for all chemistries and all are good. We started running the patient samples. After one hour, we noticed that a particular analyte, for example, urea results are high for 5 to 6 patients samples in a row. What's the next step? This could be a coincidence that all the samples from kidney dialysis unit or the analytical method, the instrument, reagent or something wrong in the analytical method. First step, do not release or validate the results. Second, is there any correlating test available for this test? Luckily, when urea results are increased, the creatinine results are also high when there is an issue with kidney function. So check the creatinine results for increase for all these patients. Yes, all the samples have increased urea and creatinine level. Then wait till you get a normal urea and creatinine results from the same instrument before validating the results. If the urea and creatinine can be correlated, then we need to run a quality control. Run a sample that was ran after the QC results that was having low or normal urea and creatinine test. If we are getting the same results or within the allowable error range, then we can be sure that the analytical method is good and validate the test results. If the repeat test shows high, that is more than the allowable error range, it shows that something wrong with the analytical method and we need to fix it. Most of the labs run the QC once in 8 hours and the analytical method can go wrong at any time and give erroneous results. The technologist validating the test results should be very careful to watch the results with delta results, reference range and should be able to correlate the doubtful results with other test results. In this case, if the repeat test is not within the allowable range, we need to stop running the patient samples and need to troubleshoot the instrument and the reagent. We need to change the reagent if only the test has issue but we need to run the QC for all tests to make sure the instrument has no issues. If all the QC results are within the range, we can run the patient sample. The patient sample itself serves as a QC material in this case because the patient sample has a maximum quality to run as a quality control material and it is fresh also. Need for making your own quality control material. The difficulty in getting the QC material in small towns are very difficult. Even the lab manager and the QC control officer likes to use the commercial QC materials. Commercial QC materials are expensive because the production and maintenance of cold chain, small diagnostic labs cannot afford to buy as they run few samples daily. The volume of commercial QC materials in the single package is large as these small labs require very little amount for their use. Freezing and thawing of the QC material is not advisable as this can decrease the quality of the material. For these reasons, the own internal QC materials are prepared in many small labs and many labs few decades ago. How to prepare? In-house internal quality control samples can be prepared from leftover serum samples of master health checkup subjects that are screened negative for HIV, HCV and HPSAG antibodies. These samples are pooled in a glass jar with ethanol as preservative and kept in deep freezer at minus 20 degrees centigrade. From the pooled serum, 100 microliters are 
quality required for two runs of each analytes because sometimes may need to repeat the test. Alicots are prepared. Every day along with commercial internal QC control, one alicot of pooled serum is analyzed for next 20 runs and the mean standard deviation CV percentage values are calculated and this can be run as internal quality control material with the graph. Advantages of in-house quality control material. Since the internal quality control are prepared from the samples, the matrix is same as patient sample compared to commercial quality control material matrix. It is cheaper than commercial internal quality control materials. Easy to prepare. The required quantity of sample internal QC material sample can be used. The stability of most of the biochemical parameters in pooled serum with preservative is better. In-house quality control materials can be prepared for each species in veterinary labs that uses same commercial quality control materials used in human labs. The transport can be avoided as the quality of material is better. Disadvantages of in-house internal quality control materials. The low levels and high levels pooled serum are difficult to prepare. Many labs may not have minus 20 degree centigrade refrigerators in small towns. The cold chain should be maintained. Each day a new frozen alicot should be used and discarded the balanced material after 6 to 8 hours at room temperature or it can be stored at 4 to 6 degrees centigrade up to 24 hours. In-house internal quality control materials cannot be prepared for all analytes since the enzyme activity and the rare analyte samples are very difficult to get. Quality control in hematology lab. Since the hemoglobin estimation is a calorimetric method, the hemolyzed QC material can be prepared for hemoglobin estimation. Abnormal peripheral smears can be made, stained and stored for QC program. These smears can be used as a quality control smears for the medical technologist. Thank you for watching. Thank you.